It's Wednesday morning on the Football Spy Show, sponsored by our friends at Renault Vans. And have we got news for you? If you're a West Ham fan, then stay tuned for a Football Spy exclusive. If you're a Liverpool fan, we've got the latest on the takeover, your bottom sixes, the teams that you think will tumble out of the top flight, and a debate on whether or not Manchester United will finish in the top four. But first, as always, the transfers. <laughs> And we start with a West Ham exclusive because yesterday the club posted on their website that they were about to sign a young international who represented his country with distinction at the World Cup. Lots and lots of you have inundated here, us here at Spy asking who it is. We can tell you that it's the highly rated New Zealand World Cup star Winston Reid. Don't be fooled by the fact that he plays for New Zealand. He's 22, he's a quality player, he's had some really big teams watching him. A massive thank you to Stefan in New Zealand and to Brash Boys, who's among a number of you out in New Zealand who have been in touch to tell us about this story. <laughs> Now, looking at some other transfers, and we are also hearing here at Spire that Chelsea are closing in on the Shakhtar Donetsk and Croatia defender Dario Cerny. He's 28. He's going to fill the gap left by Belletti. Two stories on the Mirror Football site for you. The first is that Man City could snap up the £34 million rated Barcelona midfielder Guy Asulin for nothing after the Israeli teenager cancelled his contract with the Catalan club. Uh, the second is that Manchester United are keen on the Real Madrid midfielder Lasana Diara. His arrival could result in Tom Cleverley being sent out on loan to Bolton. The Sun say that Liverpool have opened talks with Juventus for the midfielder Christian Poulsen, paving the way for Javier Mascherano to leave Anfield. We've got all sorts of reports coming in to us here from Spain that the Barcelona coach Pep Guardiola has told the club's board to go all out to get the uh, midfielder Cesc Fabregas from Arsenal before this summer's transfer window ends. That really will be a fight to the finish. The Mail say that Spurs look set to leave midfielder Adele Tarrat, uh, let him leave uh, for QPR in a deal that could be worth up to £1 million. The Times say that West Ham have been offered the Cagliari goalkeeper Federico Marchetti if current number one Robert Green leaves for Fulham. But in our own Daily Mirror, the new Fulham boss Mark Hughes has told the keeper Mark Schwarzer to forget his dream move to Arsenal as he's staying at Craven Cottage. I'm sure we haven't heard the last of that one. And finally, Celtic winger Aidan McGeady's proposed £9.5 million move to Spartak Moscow could now be back on, say the Guardian. Well, we can tell you that McGeady's out in Russia at the moment to sort that out. <laughs> Now, you know we've been uh, doing your top sixes on the show in the order that you think the teams will finish. Well, yesterday I read out an email from Abbas who was unhappy that so many of, of you had put Manchester United to finish out of the top four. Well, lots of you had your say in response. Thanks for keeping it clean and constructive. Craig Arbuckle says, Abbas is right. United will win the title this year and Sir Alex will retire because he'll have won 19 titles and that's more than Liverpool. But 4X disagrees. He says here, oh yeah, Abbas, we're so jealous of your debt-laden club and all your underperforming and or aging playing squad. I'm looking at you, Van der Sar, Neville, Scholes, Giggs, Ferdinand, Berbatov and Carrick. Well, Berbatov's not that old. Um, Hannah begs to differ. She's been on. Uh, she says, I couldn't agree more with Abbas. Everyone is just jealous. Makes me laugh when people have been putting United out of the top four. Never, ever write United off. And Mr. Faison says, uh, Abbas, you are right. Everyone is jealous of success. Fergie will buy a midfielder soon and we will be champions again. Get in touch if you want your say on whether United will finish in the top four. You know how to do it by now. In the meantime, some of your bottom sixes. I asked you for some of those yesterday. Wrighty's been in touch on our email and he might need a bit of a lie down to be fair. Uh, he's got Man City in his bottom six and trust me, City will not be down there come the end of the season. Wigan and West Brom do look more likely though. Uh, while I'm sure Blackpool fans will be surprised, well as surprised as I am even, to see their clubs safe. Bart is a bit more realistic. He's got Blackpool rock bottom with Wolves and West Brom above them. The Arsenal legend is from Malaysia. He's been in touch on YouTube. He's got Blackpool bottom with West Brom above them and Bolton's time running out. King Zeus is from London. Again, Blackpool bottom for him with West Brom and Stoke joining them in the championship. Liverpool Kelly might be a few thousand miles away in Australia, but he completely disagrees. <laughs> 
Now, I told you yesterday about the Liverpool money coming in and I asked you Reds fans which players you want to see at the club once you're eventually taken over. Get full details on the whole story on the Mirror Football website. But uh, Rennes in Bulgaria wants Lasana Diara from Real Madrid and Ashley Young from Aston Villa. Suki Singh wants Sergio Aguero from Atletico Madrid and Alexandra Pato from AC Milan. Aguero, yes, Milan. I don't think they'd sell Pato. Ashraf is in New Zealand and he also wants Aguero. I like this from Paul Murphy though, whose birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday for yesterday. He says, I wouldn't want Liverpool to go mad buying every player like Manchester City. I'd rather see some of our young players that have done well in pre-season. Very good point. Keep your views on the Liverpool situation coming in. It is indeed developing all the time. Time to make you the manager now and I am Fudgeman has sent in his Spurs team. I have to say, I'm really unimpressed. And I'm not often unimpressed, but there are no changes in there, Fudgeman. Uh, Ledley King played 45 minutes in a pre-season friendly last night, but I still think Harry Redknapp's going to get another defender in. Luka Modric is alongside Tom Huddleston, but everybody knows Spurs are looking for an experienced central midfielder. And he's got Robbie Keane alongside Roman Pavlyuchenko when both players are on the way out of the club. You must do better. I do like this Real Madrid team though. Only one real weak link. It's Arbeloa at left back. Jose Mourinho is looking everywhere for someone to play in that position because he's not happy with what he's got. But Chelsea say they are not selling Ashley Cole. The rest of the side I like. Sami Khedira has just signed from Stuttgart. He's the holding midfielder. Jabi Alonso and Kaka provide the creativity. Di Maria and Ronaldo provide the width and the pace. And Higain is up there ready to fill his boots in the centre forward position. I like that man, uh, Real Madrid team to come up against Anders' Chelsea team. He's in Norway and his back four is as you'd expect. The Benfica midfielder Ramirez is holding with Essien alongside Lampard. I'd have that the other way around with Essien holding and Ramirez, who's been described as a Steven Gerrard type player, up alongside Lampard. Maluda and Mesut Ozil are on the wings and Didier Drogba is up front. I think that side would beat Mohamed's Arsenal side. He's been on from Kuwait. Uh, he's got the young Swiss defender Johan Duru at centre-back alongside Vermeulen instead of Koscielny. In fact, he's got Koscielny at right-back and Sanya at left-back. That defence is going to get pulled all over the place. Also, what on earth is Nasri doing so deep alongside Song? Not sure about that one, Mohamed, but thank you very much indeed for getting in touch. Keep your teams, your views, your emails and your messages coming in. And if you're not a fan of a big four club, let me know where you expect your team to finish in the Premier League next season and why. The Football Spy Show is back tomorrow. I'll see you next time.